The NFL Yet Center held its annual Friends and Family Back to School Bash, offering fun, entertainment, and health screenings to prepare the kids in the community for the upcoming school year. Janae Murphy, a member of the NFL Yet Center Advisor Board, believes the NFL Yet Center plays a vital role in this section of East Tampa. We're a part of the framework of this community. Uh, we're more than just programs. We're more than a technical program or educational program. We provide services from your senior, uh, the grandmother of the family, all the way down to that single mother with the child. Uh, we want to make sure that we help the family in every aspect. We are doing the back school piece with backpacks. Um, we're also signing kids up. If you look around right now for our little league football, we have services over here from dental, uh, legal. So it is a wraparound. And when I say a wraparound, everything that you need, all the components to make sure that we have a healthy family, is here today. Arthenia Joyner of Vanguard Attorneys expressed why giving back to the community is necessary. This is just one of many endeavors that the YET Center has that we love to participate in because it's an opportunity for us to say thank you and to do what responsible legal partners and corporate citizens should do, and that is to give back to the people. Many public officials also stop by to praise the work that the NFL Yet Center is doing. This is really a gracious opportunity on the part of the Jet, uh, Yet Center in Jackson Heights here and for families in our community to have our kids ready for school on the first day with all the things they need to, in order to be successful. You know, these, these type of events uh, right before school starts uh, opens the door for many people in these struggling economic times to get an opportunity to get supplies, get health care needs taken care of where well, they couldn't afford them uh, out of their own pocket. For many parents, a central part of getting their kids back to school is making sure they're healthy. To do this, health professionals volunteered their time to take part in the event. This day-long event served more than 350 people, including Josie Arnold and her grandchildren. I think it's real important for the community because it's, it's helpful. A lot of people uh, have access to come here and that wouldn't be able to go somewhere else. At the culmination of today's Back to School Bash, every participant will receive a book bag just like this, full of all the necessary supplies, such as a notebook, glue, and that good old number two pencil. Reporting for Spotlight Tampa, this is Marisol Marin.